Hi, if you use Tilemap within Godot Engine for your 2D games, you might already have recognized that each tile you place will allocate a small amount of memory. Let's have a look into the following example. A tilemap loaded via code, mostly containing water with ID 0 and on the borders sand with ID 1. Loading a map of 1k square resulting in 1 million tiles allocates memory of around about 190 megabytes. In case there is a certain tile used very often, like in my example water, it's best to transfer it outside of the tile map. For this, I recommend the following setup. Duplicate the tile into a separate image file, in example PNG. Then switch into the import tab and activate the repeat flag of the texture. Don't forget to hit the re-import, otherwise this change is lost. Now create a new sprite loaded with the before imported repeated texture. Within the sprite, go into region menu and set it to enabled. If you have a fixed size of your map, you can now directly input the rect size. But please keep in mind that this is in pixels, so you have to multiply your number of tiles with the tile size. As this might be mostly relevant for procedural generated maps, here you go with a method to correctly resize the rect via code. Just create a new function which needs the tile size and map size in my example via member variables. Within the function, update the region rect of the sprite with the correct position, in my case 0, 0, and the map size multiplied with the tile size. And the result of this optimization is a total memory allocation of roughly 30 megabytes instead of the initial 190 megabytes. But to be fair, I used by intent an extreme example with a huge number of water tiles. On the other side, it's very easy to check the impact for your own project. Just do not load the tile you want to replace. There are two drawbacks of this technique. First, it will not work with overlapping tiles, so best fit would be a seamless texture. The second issue is that a get cell of the affected tiles will return a minus one, as no tile was set in the tile map. This means the feedback is identical to the tiles outside of your map range, so you must counter this by a check against your map size. That's it. And as always, only use performance optimizations if really needed. See you next time. Bye.